He just reached for something in his belt. These are just a few of the moments caught on Louisville Metro Police body cameras over the past year. These and other videos can help protect the public and officers when there are questions about what happened during an interaction with police. Now hundreds of Indiana State Police troopers will have body cameras for the first time, and hundreds more will get them in the coming weeks. Brooke is live this morning, and Brooke, this process of getting body cameras to officers, this has been nearly a year in the making. Kristen, Governor Eric Holcomb issued that order back in August, mandating that all Indiana State Police begin wearing those body cams. Up until now, they only had the dash cams that were mounted inside their cars. That's not going to be the case starting this week. It's going to be a three camera system, and it's going to, again, as you mentioned, start off with a couple hundred officers, costing the state about $15 million over the next five years. Breaking down what this means, ISP is putting them on every single trooper on patrol. 200 of them starting this week, another 600 in the next month or so. ISP Sellersburg Post only has about two cameras so far, but it'll eventually get up to 47. So you'll have the body cameras, the dash cams, and a third camera will then face the front passenger side to record anyone else who's in that officer's car. If it's a traffic stop, when lights are activated on a car, emergency lights are activated on a car, the camera will kick in. Uh, if a weapon is drawn, the camera will turn itself on. We don't fear the camera. We want the camera on to show you what we're doing, why we're doing it, and it truly feels protective for us. The issue flared up back in April of last year when an Indiana trooper shot and killed a man during a traffic stop over in Jeffersonville. No video of that incident, no charges filed. Today, ISP policy prohibits officers from muting their microphones or stopping a recording, possibly facing misdemeanor charges if they do. Only able to deactivate those cameras once they reach the conclusion of an event. We did ask ISP if there were any timelines of when they would be giving out those recordings if instances do happen. We know KSP, it's taken a little bit more time than usual, over a week. ISP says at this point, Kristen, they do not have a timeline for those events. And Brooke, let's talk about the other police reforms that have been put in place since Governor Holcomb issued the order on body cameras. Yeah, and new police reform just went into effect at the beginning of this month, as you mentioned, with the body cameras for all Indiana officers. It would make it a misdemeanor if they try to turn off that camera to cover up a crime. It also requires officers to take de-escalation training. It bans chokeholds in most instances and denies them, uh, defines them as an act of deadly force. It also creates a procedure to decertify officers who commit misconduct, and agencies looking to hire an officer are required to request their personnel files from previous departments. Advocates say the, these reforms are just a step in the right direction. It is not the end all be all. And of course, just a step toward more transparency in the new vision of policing across the state, guys.